Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 7 numbers So in this problem we want to implement a program that takes uh, input from a user Which is an IPv4 address And we want to check if this address is valid or not So an IPv4 address uh, This is its format So uh, here there should be a number between 0 and 20, uh, 255 and the same uh, here and here and here so uh, for this one we will use uh, regex and uh, we actually don't need to uh, use uh, command line arguments it's a it's an option so uh, if you want to uh, you can but I will not use it for today's uh, problem and uh, we want to uh, uh, make our program according to these functions so we will have a function called validate and it will take an IP address uh, as a parameter and our main function will just uh, call uh, the function here and since the function will return a string we want to print uh, the return, the return uh, uh, from this function so uh, let's start yeah, let's start with the function validate So let's uh, just make a variable called uh, valid for example and uh, let's use uh, search from the library regex and what we, will, what we want to search for is uh, we, we will first uh, search from the first till the end Okay, and uh, we will use the caret uh, and uh, the dollar sign to do so and uh, we want okay let's let's just take it step by step so first we want to start at the beginning of the string okay and uh, we want to uh, find here uh, a number so just keep looking at the format so first we we need to see a number so let me type another example with the numbers so Five, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we need to see if there is a number here, then a dot, then a number, then a dot, then a number, and so on. So first, uh, let's look for numbers. So we can do this actually, and uh, specify that we will look for a number between zero and nine, and we want this. Uh, number to be repeated uh, one or three times because we, uh, the number here can be zero till uh, okay this is wrong so yeah uh, the number here should be between zero and 255 so it can be one digit or uh, two digits or three digits so uh, for this we will use curly brackets and make the range from one uh, to three And let's capture um, this because we will use it uh, uh, after the after we search for uh, the numbers. We will use it uh, just to see if the number is uh, more than 250, 255 or not. So we are capturing this here, and after the number, we should uh, we should find a dot. So let's type this here. Uh, because it's a special uh, character, let's escape it and yeah, before I forget uh, we should add R here uh, as the problem mentioned because I think uh, when we make our test uh, file we will run into a, a problem, uh, into a problem I think so you should, you should just uh, put R before uh, the string and I think we will just repeat this three times I think so yeah let's repeat them that's the second number the third number and the fourth number but we will remove the dot so yeah I think uh, this will uh, work because here okay uh, let's add the dollar sign here for checking uh, till the end of the string so this here um, checks for the first number 
and th this checks for the second and you are capturing uh, those numbers with brackets uh, because you will use them and we will access these uh, groups uh, with uh, with a function so before going to the next step let's uh, see if it's working so okay if valid let's return true and otherwise let's return false just to see if our program is working okay python okay let's test for a valid ip address okay two five okay this should return true and okay what have we done wrong okay yeah we we forgot to add the parameter uh here ip okay let's try again okay one two three one two three one two three okay it returns true okay uh, in, uh, in order to return false we will need to add uh, more than three um, digits okay so one two three four one two three this should return false okay great okay what if we don't uh, uh, add any numbers so one two three it also returns false so that's a great uh, one step is missing and we will be done is to check if the number here uh, is more than 255 so let's actually uh, edit this line of code we will leave the rest as it is so if it's valid if we found uh, uh, an ip address with this format we will uh, carry on and evaluate this code and uh, what we want to do is to access each group and uh, uh, check if it's equal uh, if it's uh, not more than 255 so you will need to make a for loop actually so for i in range and you want to start our range from one because uh, to access the first group first group we will uh, use one not a zero this time so range one two five so it will loop four times one two three and four five is excluded so for i in range one to five we will check if the if if the number is more than 255 and the, if that's the case we will return false so if uh, valid dot group and you'll put here i if it's more than 155 okay that will return false uh, otherwise if the loop uh, is over and uh, no number is more than 155 let's return true okay, and this else is for uh, this uh, condition here so if it's not valid it will just return false okay let's actually try okay let's clear the screen okay uh, let's see if our program is working if it is valid so okay another oh, okay uh, so this returns a string we need to force it to be an integer okay let's try again and this is sh should return for uh, true okay uh, let's see if we type numbers more than 255 so 300 Okay, it returns false so i think our program is now done so yeah i think so okay uh, let me check if we can uh okay let me see if there's some examples uh given so yeah there are some examples so let's try them all and see if everything is working uh this here should return true okay nice let me copy the second ip address and this should return false okay great and third example okay. 
this should return also false okay great and our last example here is uh, cat yeah so okay this returns false so that's great and I think yeah we are done here so let's move on to uh, making our test file so let's open uh, test numbers uh, file and let's first import our file numbers so numbers and let's import our function uh, to called validate and let's make our main function okay for now uh, we should um, actually make two or more functions so we'll just make two functions and the first one we'll just call it uh, test IP and let's call this also true so this function will test uh, uh, all the valid uh, IP addresses okay let's copy this and false and at the end and let's here call our functions let's just copy them here paste and paste it again so yeah let's start with this function here so uh, let's assert and call the function validate and let's test okay on what okay we want to pass in uh, a valid IP address okay so let's okay type one two three this is valid so it should return true let's copy this and paste it once more time and let's test if it's not uh, if the numbers are like not three digits for example 12 okay and 13 3 okay and leave this so this should also return true okay now let's move to this function which will see uh, or test for false uh, ip addresses okay let's actually paste here again false and for order for the IP to be uh, false, uh, it's either more than 255, like this, or we can just type cat. This should also return false. I think this sh uh, should be enough. Let's uh, run PyTest and see uh, if you passed the test. So. Okay, nice. Uh, the two functions or the two tests are passed. So I think we are ready to use check 50. So yeah, let me copy. Okay, so as you can see, we filled the test here. So I think it tells us that we need to check uh, or test if uh, the first uh, number is right and uh, the else or the other numbers are uh, wrong so let me copy this here and make the first number uh, correct and the others uh, false so I think uh, we will pass this uh, test now so let me use check 50 again okay yeah actually I'm not really sure uh, why we are getting uh, that we are we failed a test? I don't really understand. But when I uh, changed this to an IP address like this, it worked. So I think the first number should be one number uh, or one digit. I'm not sure. So when I used check fifty, it worked. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.